Hi guys, welcome to this virtual machine. It's um, the XL that I've used and this particular version of it. Topic of the video is the ATT or the ADT. So we have an Arch Linux tweak tool and Arch Linux desktop treasure, both applications. One of the tabs on the Arch Linux tweak tool is how to install a desktop and the other one is how to remove a desktop, the desktop treasure. Each time we develop a new desktop, left WM is the last one, we need to, well, chronologically, we either start with the Arconlix D scripts or immediately with Arconlix B ISO. And we build ourselves an ISO with the packages that we've created that goes before the building, of course. So then it moves to the Calamaris configuration and I tell you, when you hear my words now, as of this time, you can already install LeftWM with the ISO that's now online from September, because that's the magic of Calamaris. If you're connected to the internet, it will get a new configuration and it will include LeftWM. So it's out there already if you now install with any of our ISOs. So 28 ISOs will all include the option install FWM. The last thing to do is, um, well, not very last thing actually. Last thing to do is the Arconlix Suite tool, right? And be able that you can select it. So Arconlix E launches, uh, sorry, Control Alt E launches the Arconlix Suite tool. And in the desktop, I need to add LeftWM. Voila. And the same, of course, goes for the treasure. If you install something, you want maybe to remove it later on. So that's the desktop treasure. That's the last one. And not the very, very last one, because the last one will be the release in November. In November, there will be the ISO, the official Arconlix B LeftWM ISO, or sooner, right? But that's the the last step. So if we create a desktop, lots and lots of things will change inside our uh, environment, let's say, our Arconlex world. So let's go over it. How do we install left left WM? So we launch the tweak tool. We can go with via menu and so on, but we are keyboard driven guys and Control Alt E launches this. We select left WM, we install. We also have a look at what's new in the sense that we want to know what's going on. There are two things to do. If you want to know what's going on on your system, then Linux is going to put log files in var log. So have we, right? We've put here a folder var log arclex. So we have something there as well. And here's the ATT and it's ready to receive, right? What will it do? It will make a backup. We will make log files are located in var log arclex. That's it. ATT and also ADT. So the desktop treasure. The idea is just to track what applications were installed on my system. Now, if that's your thing, then maybe you should launch it from the Arconlix from the terminal, right? If you really want to follow along what's going on, you launch ATT like this and keep it in eyesight, right? Like this, desktop, left WM, and install because this is an educational um, distro. We want you to be smarter. So install kicks in and this happens, right? This is what will install. If it is already installed, nothing happens, right? But to have a beautiful left WM and a functional left WM, right? We need to install some stuff and you can check it out here. If melt is installed, melt with a D, right? Right mouse click, compare, and you can have a look. So we've added Arconix left WM git. Without it, left WM will not function. It's the configuration, it's the candy, it's the beautiful theme that we have now, right? Polybar, no polybar, no menu, no Rofi, no menu, and so on and so on. So all the green stuff has been added to your system. And with the desktop treasure, we're going to remove some of them, right? We, we tried to do it with some common sense. 
if polybar is installed we're gonna keep it around because ah there is bsp wn there's aerosloof wn there is xmonad stuff that is used in other desktops we might be breaking that and that's why we say if you re if you trash something i'll do it later right then the desktop that you really want to keep right and reinstall it with this one so actually reinstall the desktop that you want to keep making sure that all the packages are there um, if this happens no problem it's just because of the the uh, file there so we want one ATT to be running not two ATTs right and that's why um, we have this check so let's have a look I guess right let's have a look first then go for the treasure and remove everything again so log out up here we have this yeah, new design simplicity design and left WM is up there if you don't see anything it means you just have one desktop so there's no choice to make so why would he give you a choice there right so just um, if if you see you, if you have one desktop no button up there okay and this is your thing right this is and there's a strange thing up here if this happens and very rarely it happens super shift R so you reload actually your polybar and everything looks normal again so this is your um, left WM it's a tiling winner manager so control uh, super T for example and super shift enter for example and uh, control alt f is it going to launch firefox in a very small window etc etc right but then it's more how to learn to work with left up yeah which is not the video i'm gonna super q these things super q or super shift q these things and it's gone so here are the keyboard shortcuts if you don't know which ones to use now I want to trash this again, but first let's get out of here again. So log out. Left WM is here, XFC is there. And we say, okay, this is not my thing, don't like it, don't want it, etc. There is the treasure, Arclinx desktop treasure. It is, and we see the messages pass along. It is a tool provided without any guarantees. Yeah, reuse with care. Functionality of other desktops may be compromised because there is no artificial intelligence behind it. Saying, okay, oh, so you have awesome, so I'm gonna keep this or that, or you have BSP WM, or I'm gonna keep this or that. There is too much combos possible, right, to be having a hundred percent success rate. So it's still your common sense that kicks in, has to kick in, right? These are the things that we have on our machine. We decide to kick out left WM. We trash the desktop. Again, if you want to know more, ADT, right? Launch it from the terminal. See what happens to your machine. We've provided you a log file. Go and have a look at the log file. What happens to your machine? For log Arclinx. Arclinx desktop treasure. Treasure. Always it sounds like treasure and it's treasure. Okay, so when we trash the desktop, this happens and you can scroll back up and see what's going on, right? So we are gonna remove some stuff. Left WM, we don't need the configuration of left WM, but it's still in your home directory. Remember that, we don't touch the home directory. If we have this on, right? Do not remove the car manually. So we keep out of your home directory. If you, get, if you click this on, I off actually, right? Your dot config is empty. And we get the etc scale dot config back. That's the big difference. So Rofi is out, volume icon is out, left WM is out, etc. etc. But Pykem is out, right? And then you say, oh my god, so that's the transparency in my terminals and all that. Yes. So if you have another desktop, PyCam is not needed for XFC, right? Doesn't care. It has transparency, no problem. But if there are other desktops that need PyCam, you need to have the reflex, the, the common sense to say, ah, so 
I better install such and such desktop again and PyCon will be installed again. Compare, don't forget, first we compare, then we install XFC for example again or BSPWM and PyCon will be installed again. So left WM is out, Rofi is out, so that's what you see, right? This used to be here, the left is used to be here, and after clicking the button, well, Rofi is out. But Rofi is one of the keyboard shortcuts. So a Super F11 is not working. Why? Fail to execute child process Rofi. You just removed it, right? Because it's part of the application left of the desktop and eh? left WM. Now, I'm not sure if many people use Rofi as a start up for XFCE, but in tiling window managers, it makes sense to have it around. Like the D menu, it makes sense to have it around. Volume icon, not needed. Volume icon is here in XFCE, but the volume icon is needed inside a tiling window manager. So these things happen to your machine and you analyze and say, ah, that's why this and this is happening to my machine because of the fact that we remove stuff, right? Or we installed stuff. Ctrl Alt E. One last thing. Yes, sure. Ctrl Alt E. Go back. And then we say the desktop, for instance, I think this one has Compton, I believe, right? So I want to check what happens again. Ctrl Alt T then. ATT. Is Spikem installed? I don't know out of my head. We'll check, right? But in in awesome I think as well, by the way. So I don't know. Install. And we'll see. HTOP tuner, pull kit, polybar is there, and I don't see any Pikem, but maybe it is installed, right? Pseudo Pacman minus remove Pikem. Maybe we should add to the list. Pikem. Okay, stop. It is installed. So we're good. So these things are interesting to follow if you are experimenting with themes, uh, sorry, with desktops and you are deciding what to do, what shall I install, then this is an exercise you should do, right? Install this, like we, we joked about it, right? Karate kit, wax on, wax off, install this, remove again, install that, remove again. But the thing you want to keep as the default, in this case, it's XFCE, right? You can always say, I'm gonna, yeah, he'll gonna pop up again, right? Because we launched from the terminal. This time I'm not going via the terminal, so Ctrl Alt E. Desktop, if you say XFCE, he's gonna install any missing packages. If there are missing packages, he'll get them right now. Because, well, we press the button install. So, there is this one operating system, one desktop you to say, decide, okay, that's where I start off. And traditionally, uh, we ask our users to start with Arconix XL, so they get to know an easy desktop environment and learn all about all these wonderful free applications that Linux provides. And later on decide, okay, let's go for this or that desktop or this or that application so that's for later okay i thought i hope i've been thorough um so try it out the new aclix 3 tool the new best treasure are available and you can install left wm if you want to and try it out all right cheers